Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about a 2004 Jeep Wrangler TJ that has something the internet said was impossible. Hydro assist steering with the stock TJ power steering pump. So just a little background on this rig. It was purchased pretty much just as you see it. Tube fenders, crusher corners, bumpers, winch, etc. They were all already installed. It also has a 4-linked, four 4-9-inch, four and a Dynatrack Dana 44 with ARB air lockers and both differentials. With the 35-inch tires, it was pretty well set up for a streetable trail rig, with one exception, no hydro assist. For those of you that don't know, hydro assist is this guy right here, a hydraulic ram mounted between the front axle and the steering linkage. The fluid in the ram is fed and controlled by the power steering box on the frame. The ram provides additional force to steer the vehicle, which is almost a necessity if the front differential has a locker or is equipped with larger tires. Well, according to the internet, there are two major issues with putting hydro assist on a Jeep TJ. The first issue is the stock TJ power steering pump doesn't move enough fluid for hydro assist. This causes lag in the steering. Crawling on the trail, the lag is not an issue, but this Jeep is driven on the street, so any kind of steering lag is unacceptable. The next issue is 2003 later TJs have a Mercedes-based steering box that isn't as durable as a previous Saginaw box. These opinions seem to be supported by the lack of an available kit from industry experts like PSC. PSC only sells a complete kit with a new pump, reservoir, ram, and Saginaw steering box. I'm a big fan of PSC, but this kit was more than she wanted to spend for her primarily street-driven Jeep. So I started to think of an alternate solution. The Mercedes box was already leaking around the sector shaft, and with reports of sector shafts breaking, replacing it with the Saginaw seemed like a sensible solution. The Saginaw has different mounting patterns, so the frame had to be sleeved and reinforced, the input shaft had to be shortened, and some new hoses had to be bought. This solved one of the problems, but what about the pump volume? Well, if you look back at the PSC system, it uses an inch and three quarter bore ram with a six and three quarter inch stroke. This means it takes 16 cubic inches of fluid to fully extend the ram. This PSC RAM is designed for 40 inch tires. This Jeep only has 35 inch tires and the owner has no intention of going larger. So a smaller RAM needs less fluid and would still provide some additional steering force. I found this hydraulic cylinder with a one inch bore from Surplus Center. It only takes 4.71 cubic inches of fluid to fully extend, a full 70% less than the larger RAM. So does it work? Yes, it works great. And, let me assure you, the power steering pump in this Jeep is 100% stock. It has not been drilled out, shimmed, or modified in any way. It even uses the stock reservoir and has no cooler installed. The smaller ram doesn't slow the steering down that I can tell, and it seems to be perfectly fine for street driving. So what's the catch? Well, a smaller ram means less force. To make the math simple, let's say we have an even 1000 PSI from our power steering pump. The inch and three quarter bore would create 2,400 pounds of force, whereas the one inch bore only creates 785 pounds of force, which is no surprise. That said, 800 pounds of additional steering force makes a big difference on the trail, especially with the front ARB installed. This Jeep has made two additional trips to Moab with the Hydro Assist, and the owner is still really happy with the setup. So there you have it. You can run Hydro Assist with a stock TJ Power steering pump if a smaller RAM will work for your needs. If you have a milder build on 35s, it might work for you. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and share it with your friends who drive a TJ. We'll see you next time.